These are some tests of a CNC 3018 Pro using a 450 nanometer uh, 5.5 watt laser. Um, so this first test I'm doing is a Scorpion. It's basically uh, first test I did video of anyway. It's it's this G code that came with the software. Um, it was nice because it would allow me to change the uh, the darkness setting. You can see up at the top of the wood when I show the result that there's some different darknesses of it. This was done at 35%. Uh, it's really cool that the uh, the lines came out the way they did. Um, this is a pixel art. Uh, if you'll notice below the foot of the dog and the uh, right below what we're printing right now, there's this uh, uh, little thing there, damn Facebook thing. <laughs> um, there's uh, basically that's uh, different settings. There's a uh, units per axis setting you can set, and this is being done right now at 2,000 ax uh, units per axis. The smaller ones were done at like 300 by 180 I think I had it set at because I thought it was set at per millimeter that didn't work out too good um, so those everything you see there that's pixel printed the dog the pony that's all done at that 2000 setting there's uh, epilepsy warning uh, here for somebody it might flash a lot in a second uh, this, this video goes too fast <laughs> uh, basically this is a G code I made for a milling saw milling machine to do but it works pretty good with the laser but it's at 100 percent brightness the whole time so it burns in pretty dark at the corners and everything and where this machine was slowing down uh this is just another pixel print on top of the uh line art thing there done at the 2000 pixel setting uh, i do change the 2000 pixel setting later um i found out that 800 is actually the accurate setting like per millimeter accuracy for this machine so if you needed to actually like mill something that was specifically the perfect size you would do it uh, with that setting set at 800 steps and that might change with different stepper motors or different controllers but um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these ones that are coming out that the 3018 machine work that way um, the g-code for this one here I didn't realize uh, how g-code worked and that I thought I could change the brightness or the darkness you know uh, by changing the max setting but uh, this G code didn't respond to that at all it would just uh, there's two there's basically one that was variable s strength and one that's just always constant strength and I, I suppose this was set up in the constant strength one but uh, it came out pretty cool even though that first one got blocked by the clamp <laughs> <coughs> so uh, this is a raster to laser, it's called, uh, with Inkscape. Uh, it's basically took an image, uh, it was this Corgi butt painting, <laughs> and tried to draw it. I did it on, uh, with the laser all the way up to, and refocused it to see if that would make a difference, and it didn't make any difference. In the raster to laser software, I had it set to 5 pixels per millimeter, which seemed to really cluster them too close together and everything looked burnt. Um, and then I just set it to 2 pixels per millimeter, um, that came out really, you know, a lot better, but it was, I think this whole thing was supposed to be 7 millimeters high, or 70 millimeters high, and it's, it's like way too big, so I decided to take a look and see if I could figure out that whole millimeter accuracy thing, and then I figured out that 800 steps per millimeter would give you that, so I never actually had a chance to do another raster test again after I did that, but I wonder if scrunching it down with that was going to make this make it come out just as bad. This is my lovely CNC machine. <laughs> it's the uh, laser shroud I made. Basically so my cats don't have to be shut out of here. It's a cardboard box. It fits pretty good. Plenty of clearance on the top there. That lamp fits. This is the setup without the box. There's the box and the sheet. Now, obviously, it's better to keep that laser under cover when there's cats running around. Although I don't like leaving a sheet in a cardboard box over it, you know, use that at your own risk. <laughs> if that's something. I've seen the software like stop 
responding and the laser just stayed on and it stayed in the same spot that would easily cause a fire if if you left it unattended so just be mindful shit like that can happen this kit is great these motors seem great they're Kronos the Kronos maker stuff I mean it's all basically the same I'm pretty sure but I noticed that some of the older boards didn't have any timing crystals at all whereas the new ones have two and that's got to be an improvement over none uh, and these uh, when I bought this kit these heat sinks were like twice the size which I guess is nice but they were like really threatening to short out some stuff you can see that there's really not a whole lot of room around that ship so I'd recommend getting some uh, oh yeah I got it right here like this two part thermal epoxy stuff this is Arctic Illumina and then I just got a kit of different heat sinks. The heat sink on the right is the one that they shipped with it. And then the one on the left is the one that I put on there. It's a lot smaller, but it's like a little thicker. It's a little thicker. And I think that time that I said it almost caused a fire, I'm not entirely sure that it wasn't because this heat sink might have bridged something there. Because it would make sense it was moving on the x-axis. And the x-axis one I think got the most hot. And it just had this shitty glue that held it on. It wasn't even like a thermal pad. It was just glue. Oh, yeah. the uh, They gave me 16 millimeter screws to mount this piece to these little rails. And the 16 millimeter screw just barely pokes out this side. Like, I have a couple 18 millimeter ones in there because I ran out of 20 millimeters. And they both barely fit into the threads. I'll probably pull them out. <laughs> I have these nylon washers on there, so it holds pretty good. That's I would recommend like a nylon washer. I think that's probably better than the metal ones they ship with, but I guess if you have them.